Hello kids, Miss Future here. Today we're going to write and apply exponential and power functions. Exponential functions we've been working with in this past chapter. You're used to seeing those. They look like this. Y equals some number a times another number b raised to the x power. Y equals a b to the x. That's like a basic exponential, right? Where x is your exponent. Power functions are what we did in the past. Like in the last chapter y equals ax to the b, where x, our, x our, um, sorry, our variable was the base. So we're going to use these two functions and just take some problems with some values and write the functions. All right, so let's just start off with an example. Write an exponential function whose graph passes through 110 and 480. So we, first you have to be able to recognize that it says exponential. So you have to know, okay, I'm going to use y equals a, b to the x. Remember, x is your exponent. So then I'm going to take the ordered pairs that I have, 110, we'll start with 110, and we're going to plug it in. 10 is y equals a, b to the 1 is x, like that. All right, well, b to the 1 is still b, so I'm going to write this in terms of a. a equals 10 over b. Now we're going to use the other point, so in this case 480, and we're going to use the a that we have put here and plug them both in so that we can get the other the other letter. So we'll say 80 equals, and then instead of a, I'm going to put 10 over b times b to the x where x is 4. So now when we simplify this, I have 80 equals 10, and then b to the fourth divided by b is just b to the third. If I divide both sides by 10, I get 8 equals b to the third, which means that b is the cubed root of 8, which is 2. So now that I know b, I can go back and get a. So then we're going to take a equals 10 over b, and now we know what b is, so it's 10 over 2, and now we know a is 5. And finally, we'll put it all together. y equals a we now know is 5, b we now know is 2, and then to the x power. And then, just like we've done this many times before, can you put the 5 and the 2 together? Can you multiply this together and get 10? And hopefully you said no, because the 2 is being raised to the x, the 5 is separate. That's why we have a separate a and a separate b. All right, next example. Now we're going to write a power function whose graph passes through 4, 6, and 8, 15. So the first thing you have to remember is a power function is the one where it's y equals ax to the b power. You have to know the difference between those two. So we are going to solve this, I mean, use the same steps that we used in the, um, in the exponential function. We're going to use one point to solve for a in terms of b. So we'll take 6 and 4, we'll say 6 is y equals a, and then x is 4 to the b. And so we need to solve for a, that means that a is going to be 6 divided by 4 to the b. Which looks complicated right now, but just hang on to it because... Now we're going to use the other point and our a to solve for b. So the other point, 15 equals, and then the a is 6 over 4 to the b times, and then x to the b is going to be 8 to the b. And now we need to simplify. So this is where it gets kind of hard, um, except it's really not. What you have to recognize is that 8 to the b divided by 4 to the b is the same thing as 8 over 4 all to the b, which is the same thing as 8 divided by 4 is 2 to the b. So we have 15 equals 6 times 2 to the b, which means that 15 over 6 equals 2 to the b. And we have to solve for b. I'm going to move up to the next side here. Remember our logarithms now. Log with a base of 2 of 15 over 6 equals b. 
This is the kind of problem you're going to have to use your calculator for. Punch it in and you will get a B value of 1.322. Now, like before, we're going to use that B to find A. So we know that A was 6 over 4 to the B. So we've got 6 divided by 4 to the 1.322. Use the second answer or the store function in your calculator so that you don't lose any accuracy. And you should get an A value of, in this case, exactly 0.96. And now that we know A and B, we can write, write uh, the, the final equation where A is 0.96. And then we have x raised to the b power, so x raised to the 1.322 power. Okay, so now on your test, you're going to have a calculator, but we're going to ask you to show all those steps written out. So um, you do have to know all those steps, how to do it by hand, but you will have a calculator, and you can check your work. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the, uh, the regressions in the calculator. And I've showed you these before. Um, I always have people asking me, how do you do this? What do you push? So I'm just going to make a little video of myself actually pushing the buttons so you can know exactly what buttons to push. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit stat right there. And then we're going to choose edit here. And then in L1, list 1, we are going to put in the x values in this table here. So we're going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In list 2, we're going to put the y's. So 370 and 417 and 460, 523 and 598. I know this is boring for some of you, but some of you need to step by step. All right, now that we've got all these in here, we have to second quit, and then we're going to hit stat. We're going to go over to calc, and then we want to do an exponential regression for this one. So you see we've done linear before, we've done quadratic before. Um, you could do a cubic or a quartic, a linear, a plus bx. We haven't got to that. You could do um, all of these things, logistic, everything, but here's an exponential regression. And my calculator asks for extra steps that the yellow ones don't, so I'm just going to hit enter through all these. And here is our equation, y equals a times b to the x, where it gives us an a of 327.077, a b of 1.126. And then the r, remember the r value tells you how well the data, um, the equation fits the data. We've got an r value of 0.998, so that's a pretty good, um, a pretty good correlation right there. So now all you have to do is just write it. Y equals A is 327.077 times B, put B in parentheses, 1.126. Always put B in parentheses. Raised to the X power, and you're done. And if you notice, in the, uh, in the, the stat calc menu, right underneath exponential regression, there was a power, a PWR regression option. If we wanted to do a power function, um, I just happened to do this one with the same data um, that we already had. This is what it would look like. So you can do exponential or power in the calculator. So this one would be y equals 355.406 times x raised to the 0.285. And if you notice, this one has a correlation coefficient of 0.964. So it's still pretty good. But um, the exponential correlation coefficient was better, so that one was a better fit. And really, that's all I have for you guys. So uh, we're done with the video, and I'll let me find a joke for you real quick. Okay, so yeah, I couldn't find a funny one, but here's one anyway. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. See you tomorrow.